Hello, and welcome to this comprehensive training session on Delta Sleep Inducing Peptide, commonly referred to as DSIP. This session will provide a thorough understanding of the mechanism of action, clinical applications, dosage protocols, risks, benefits, alternatives, and patient considerations for using DSIP. Additionally, we will review three clinical case studies and explore recommended laboratory evaluations to ensure safe and effective use. Let's get started. Delta sleep inducing peptide or DSIP is a naturally occurring neuropeptide first discovered in the 1970s. It is named for its role in promoting delta wave sleep, a stage of deep restorative sleep critical for overall health. DSIP is involved in regulating sleep, stress response, and pain modulation. It has been studied for its ability to normalize circadian rhythms, reduce stress-related disorders, and enhance recovery from various chronic conditions. Although not FDA approved, DSIP is widely used in integrative and functional medicine practices for improving sleep, reducing stress, and addressing chronic fatigue. DSIP acts on the central nervous system and hypothalamus to influence key physiological processes. Sleep regulation, DSIP promotes delta wave activity, which enhances deep restorative sleep. It interacts with the body's natural sleep-wake cycle, improving sleep onset and quality. Stress and cortisol reduction. DSIP modulates the hypothalamic pituitary adrenal axis, helping to reduce cortisol levels and improve stress resilience. Pain modulation. By influencing opioid receptors and endorphin release, DSIP has been shown to reduce pain sensitivity and enhance pain tolerance. Neuroprotection. DSIP protects the brain from oxidative stress, supporting recovery from neurological injuries and disorders. Hormonal balance. DSIP may normalize the release of certain hormones, including luteinizing hormone and growth hormone, contributing to improved metabolic and recovery functions. DSIP has been explored for various clinical applications, including sleep disorders, insomnia, circadian rhythm disturbances, shift work, sleep disorder, chronic stress and fatigue, adrenal fatigue and cortisol dysregulation, chronic fatigue syndrome, pain management, fibromyalgia, chronic pain conditions, recovery enhancement, recovery from physical or mental exertion, post-surgical recovery, mood disorders, anxiety and depression associated with poor sleep or chronic stress. Benefits. The potential benefits of DSIP include improved sleep quality and duration, particularly in individuals with chronic insomnia, reduce cortisol levels and improve stress management, enhanced pain tolerance and reduction in chronic pain symptoms, neuroprotective effects that support brain health and recovery, improved hormonal regulation, including growth hormone and luteinizing hormone. Risks. While DSIP is generally considered safe, potential risks include mild headaches or dizziness in some individuals, temporary grogginess or fatigue after administration, rare allergic reactions to the peptide, hypothetical risks due to limited long-term human studies, proper patient screening and careful dosing can mitigate most risks. Alternatives. Alternatives to DSIP for similar clinical goals include for sleep improvement, melatonin, valerian root, or cognitive behavioral therapy for insomnia. For stress reduction, adaptogenic herbs like ashwagandha or phosphatidylserine. For pain management, low-dose naltrexone, physical therapy, or mindfulness-based stress reduction. For recovery, growth hormone-releasing peptides or BPC-157. DSIP is typically administered via subcutaneous injection for its systemic effects. For sleep disorders, dose 100 to 200 micrograms injected subcutaneously 30 minutes before bedtime. Duration 3 to 4 weeks with adjustments based on clinical response. For stress or fatigue, dose 100 to 300 micrograms injected once daily in the evening. For chronic pain or recovery, dose 200 to 500 micrograms injected subcutaneously daily for 4 to 6 weeks. Treatment duration should be individualized based on patient needs and clinical progress. While DSIP is well tolerated, pretreatment and ongoing monitoring can enhance safety and effectiveness. Baseline testing, comprehensive metabolic panel, CMP, cortisol levels, morning and evening, 
sleep studies if applicable, condition-specific testing for stress, adrenal function testing, such as a four-point salivary cortisol test. For chronic pain, inflammatory markers, including C-reactive protein, CRP, and erythrocyte sedimentation rate, ESR. Monitoring, regular assessments of sleep quality and duration, using patient logs or sleep tracking devices, periodic cortisol testing for patients treated for stress-related conditions. Case study, one, chronic insomnia in a shift worker. A 40-year-old male nurse presents with chronic insomnia due to rotating shift work. Despite trying melatonin and sleep hygiene interventions, he continues to experience difficulty falling asleep and waking refreshed. Treatment protocol, DSIP, 150 micrograms injected subcutaneously, 30 minutes before bedtime, daily for four weeks. Outcome, the patient reported improved sleep onset by week one and deeper, more restorative sleep by week three. His energy levels and mood also improved significantly. Case study two, adrenal fatigue and high cortisol. A 35-year-old female presents with symptoms of adrenal fatigue, including chronic fatigue, brain fog, and elevated evening cortisol levels, confirmed by salivary testing. Treatment protocol, DSIP, 200 micrograms injected subcutaneously daily in the evening for six weeks. Outcome, by week four, cortisol levels normalized and the patient reported reduced fatigue and improved cognitive clarity. Case study three, fibromyalgia with poor sleep quality. A 50-year-old female with fibromyalgia reports widespread pain and non-restorative sleep. She has tried various medications, including low-dose naltrexone with minimal improvement. Treatment protocol, DSIP, 200 micrograms injected subcutaneously nightly for eight weeks. Outcome, the patient experienced significant pain reduction and improved sleep quality by week six. She also reported greater energy levels and improved quality of life. In conclusion, Delta sleep-inducing peptide is a promising therapeutic option for addressing sleep disorders, stress-related conditions, chronic pain, and recovery enhancement. By improving Delta wave activity, modulating stress responses, and enhancing recovery, DSIP offers a safe and effective way to improve patient outcomes. While it is not a replacement for foundational lifestyle interventions, it can be a powerful adjunct for patients with treatment-resistant symptoms. Want to introduce peptide therapy to your patients? Get certified with our free course at freepeptidetraining.com.